here's how instant runoff voting works. I'm candidate A. And I'm B. Hey, B. Did you know that the winner of more than a third of our presidential elections didn't get a majority of the votes? That's strange. And undemocratic. When more than two candidates run, an election can get spoiled. Since people don't want to waste their vote on a spoiler, some of them don't vote for the person they like most. So the winner can actually wind up being someone who's strongly opposed by most voters. So basically, our voting system crashes when more than two candidates run. Right, and it happens all the time. Actually, more often in local and primary races than presidential elections. The problem is voting rules that allow the majority to split its support. You lost me there, eh? Let me show you what I mean. Let's say we're running against each other, and there are 15 voters. You get eight votes, and I get seven. You have a majority. A fight to the death, and I win. But let's say someone who agrees with you on most issues joins the race. Uh-oh. Yep. This time I get six votes, you have five, and candidate C winds up with four. Hold on. You're saying I lose? That's right. With old-style plurality voting, the winner doesn't need a majority. So I win, even though most voters would prefer you over me in a two-candidate race. The majority split its vote once the third candidate got in. That's the spoiler effect. That spoiler did me in. So candidates start in on the personal attacks, even though they might agree on most issues. That C is a little opportunist. Too young to have any sense. But those kinds of attacks are a turnoff and take the focus off real issues and another reason to switch to IRV. Voters still just have one vote, but can rank more than one candidate in order of preference. You use the rankings on the ballots to determine a winner like a runoff election, but instantly. I'm liking this, eh? I think. You should be. This voter has marked our young opponent as her first choice and you as her second. After adding up the first choices from all the ballots, there's no majority winner and our opponent is in last place. But the people who rank C first haven't wasted their votes. Instead of a whole separate runoff election between the top two, we count all the ballots again in the instant runoff. And people who rank C first have their ballots added to the totals of their next choice. Back to eight votes for me. Now you have a majority, so you're the winner. With old style plurality voting, the majority split its votes and let me slip in. But with IRV, voters wind up electing someone who more closely matches their preferences, no one has to worry about spoilers, and the winner is the one we should have had all along. Me? Of course. You know this is just pretend, right? Instant runoff voting, majority winners, and full voter choice in a single round of voting. Or something like that.